Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through the method that I use that has been most helpful to allow me to achieve a likeness in drawing. Now as artists and figurative artists, when drawing portraits, likeness is one of the most important things that we try and achieve often. There's a few methods that we can use, but the first or end goal is to practice and develop our eye. So that's our intuitive ability to see someone's face and catch them with simple lines. There's a few methods we can have in our toolkit to achieve that. Things like straight lines, doing lots of measurements, using sight size. So there's lots of tools that we can use to help us in achieve likeness. But what do we do if we use all of those things and the likeness is still not there? I mean, ideally we'd have someone on our shoulder pointing out our errors, but that's not always possible. One method that many artists fall back to is using a grid. Uh, my problem with grids is those become a crutch and once we use those in our practice it doesn't really help us get better. My method is to use all of the processes above but then overlay a photo to check in on likeness and that's like having your own art teacher on your shoulder telling you where you got things wrong. So I'll talk you through the applications I use um, in a minute to overlay photographs. In order to demonstrate the applications I'm sharing today, I'll be using this drawing I did of Michael Fassbender from a recent tutorial that I'll link above. In that tutorial, I used overlay to make sure that I got my likeness correct, so I think this one will be a good one for demonstration purposes. I'm sharing three apps today. The first two are free. The first app is Pixlr. I've chosen this first because it's an app that's available both on Android and iOS. So if you load up Pixlr and select a new photo from your photo album, this is your reference photo that you then want to check in on. Go to tools on the bottom left hand side and then double exposure. And then select add original and pull in a photograph of your drawing from your album. You can use this on your, on your phone which is why I think it's so useful. On the bottom there's a transparency slider. If you slide that down to about 40 or 50%, you can then use two fingers to position your drawing over and above the reference photo. Now this is gonna be tricky if you're not particularly accurate, but as long as most, you're most of the way there, you can then use a transparency slider once you have it positioned and immediately see where your drawing is off. And in this example, I got the ear and his forehead rather wrong. And then you can keep taking photos throughout the process and keep referring back until you've got your drawing aligned with the reference photo. The next app is the Overlay Cutout Photo Editor app. This is available on iOS, but it's my favourite because it's very simple. You will get bombarded by ads, so when you open up the application, just get rid of those and don't get sucked into paying for premium. It is a really basic app, but basic is all you need. If you select New, and then on the bottom left hand side there's a tab for background and you can select your photo album and pull up the reference photo. Then on the bottom right you can overlay your photo or even take a photo of your drawing uh, as you go. If you click on the top there's a four way arrow that will allow you to arrange the photo and then just slide the transparency slider on the bottom and overlay and position the photographs one on top of the other exactly as I did in the previous video. Once you've got them aligned, make sure you click on the tick on the top right hand side and it will lock the pictures in place. The last method works for Procreate on the iPad, but also any other digital drawing software like uh, Photoshop. In this, we're using the layers. So you want to load up your reference photo and then create a new layer and pull in a photograph of your drawing that you've taken. Once you've done that, you can select the layers and lower the, the opacity and then the process is again exactly the same. Setting the opacity low and then spending some time positioning your drawing over the original artwork. So those were three separate overlay apps that you can use regardless of the device that you're using. In terms of overlaying, obviously it's not going to work for all situations. If you're drawing from life and you don't have a photo reference, then this method isn't going to be that helpful. But any other time that you're working in reference to a photo, then this is going to be incredibly useful to help you find likeness. One suggestion that I would have is to use it mindfully. So really try and get your drawing as accurate as possible and don't use overlay as an unnecessary crutch. It really is a tool 
to help you get even more accurate in your likeness. I hope you like this video today. If you do, like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.